Our last episode was a bit of a big one, as we got deeper into ancient Greece. We checked out the ancient city of Mycenae first, and then woke early the next day to search out ancient Epidurus and its great theatre before dipping our heads underwater in search for a sunken city. Good morning guys, um, we're on the road again. We have left the beauty of the beach um, and heading inland a little bit. Um, we have done a food shop but we're actually heading to a, another supermarket to a secondary food shop because the first one had zero gluten free products um, which is a bit of a pain in the butt but um, yeah we have talked a lot about it and we've pretty much decided that we don't want to go to Athens anymore. Is that right? I think so, yeah. We kind of tossed up um, what we want to do in Athens and how long it would take and how much money it would cost. The cost kind of outweighs the want to go. So instead I think we're going to start heading up towards Albania a little bit earlier and start moving on again, which is kind of exciting in itself. Dylan's also started a new trend of um, Oranges <laughs> that overhang the road. Well, if you pull over to the side of the road and there's an orange sticking in the window, <laughs> it's a clear sign that it's going to be yours. <laughs> and so we currently have three unripened oranges. This is the most green, yeah. which I don't know, it might end up being a, a whole sack for by the end of the trip. Currently here, uh, we're gonna drive around, skip Athens, and come back to around here. On this point, to a beach, um, which is a three-hour, probably three and a half by the time we get there with Nelly. Um, and then tomorrow we're gonna head up to some monasteries um, at Meteora, I think. Um, so a bit of a drive, but it should be good. Uh, yeah. Finally, after almost a month, we were starting to head north again, and we were finally starting to get a little more excited about being somewhere new. The drive was long, and the day had stayed grey, which seemed to suck our energy out of us. As you probably know by now, we are two solar-powered humans. But we sucked it up and continued, crossing our fingers that it would be an easy park at the end of it. So we've kind of got ourselves in a bit of a situation. Um, the road that we were going to take over to the spot, um, was really narrow and rocky and so we thought if it rains then we might get stuck there um, or worse potentially so we've gone down another road to try find somewhere we can turn around because on Google Maps it said it was a full circuit um, but that's actually not the case and now we're kind of locked in on this narrow road right next to the right next to the water so Dylan's just gone up to check it out Hopefully there's somewhere where we can turn around. We should be able to turn around just... Yep. Holy fuck. Well, like, it's going to be hard. Due to the stress of it, we do not film ourselves getting out of this sticky situation. So here's a few diagrams to help you understand. There's us on a road. A cliff in the sea to the left. A cliff in the route that Google suggested on the right. The road led up left, at least a 45 degree angle that Nelly could barely get a toe up on. So we needed to do a 45 point turn and get the heck out of there. So, with a lot of back before we <laughs> to turn around, how stressful. Uh, plus we're still going to get out of here. We'll find somewhere to sleep. Okay, so we're no longer sure where we're going to stay. Um, hopefully near this water because it's beautiful. Um, oh Jesus, you're close. One of those like dreaded times at the end of a long drive that you, you hope that you can just pull in and uh, be nice and easy, but uh, it turns out to be not what you thought it is. Yeah. And you get stuck a little bit. <laughs> Almost stuck. Mm. Now there's like a good size that it's very unlikely that she'll seesaw, and she's got she's got a good grunt, 
so it's pretty good. Mm. Anyway, we've found a spot a minute down the road next to a harbour. At least we have something to stay tonight. We don't have to think about that till tomorrow. Kind of reminds me of the first time. Like you, you look at all this barbed wire fence and you think, why do they need barbed wire fence? Um, so we'll see. But anyway, I'm gonna go to have a quick look, see what else is around, just in case. Cool. I'm starving. See you later, guys. Ciao. Ciao. guys um, we're on the road again and it's a pretty foggy wet day um, we're heading to uh, Meteora today um, but we probably won't check it out until tomorrow where the weather is meant to be much nicer a three hour drive now which is all good last night was a bit hectic but I got a pretty good sleep I don't think Dylan did but I did we had some cats crawling all over the, the van um, over the next couple of days, I feel like we'll be out of Greece. Freaky. Yeah, heading towards Albania. I mean, hopefully, everything runs smoothly. Fingers crossed. Touch a little bit of wood up here. Excuse me, you gotta touch the wood. <laughs> um, and we shall continue on, I think. Slightly more time in Albania than we were in like Montenegro, I think. Yeah. Also, just the sheer size of Albania versus like Montenegro is quite different. Um, and then we'll be in Croatia, and then we'll look to head north. Um, yeah. It was another dreary day, but this time we were a bit more fueled with excitement from Meteor. We'd read a lot on this place, and it was cool to see the rock formations getting closer. Howdy team, um, we're currently in Meteora, um, we're just at one of the campsites here called Camping Vatros, we're something along those lines anyway. Um, tomorrow looks like quite a big day for us, um, I think you're looking at about at least the four hour round trip hike up until some of the monasteries, hopefully the weather is good to us and also hopefully we can get the drone out which would be awesome because I mean these monasteries are like on top of I don't know what do you call them like sheer cliffs it's just the way that the rocks has formed over the years to form these like just standalone rocks or valleys in between and they decided to put monasteries on the top so it's quite cool um, yeah so dress code is quite strict um, I think women can't technically show their knees or their elbows, that's basically it. Um, and men can't show their knees. Um, so we've got to hike in pants and dresses. Well, we don't need to hike in them, but I don't know, if we can get comfortable at the start, we might be right. Anyhow, what I was about to show you is just a quick map of where everything is, where the campsite is, and where we're planning on going. Um, we only, the map that we've got is very limited, so we can only know a few hikes that we know we can do, otherwise there's paths, but we're not quite sure how treacherous that may be. Um, but anyway, I'll show the map. This is it. We're currently here, campsite. Basically, we are multiple options either we could be driving up to just the different parks parking up and go and check out the monastery drive park but you know we like to do things the hard way we're gonna walk down into Calabaca um, and we may quickly pop into the tourist information office so it's on the way just to make sure we've got the right map and by right map I mean a more detailed map up here there's a little entrance to the pathway that leads you up to St. Trinity, which is actually probably one of the most insane of them all. I mean, it's up here, perspective. But that hike alone is supposedly like 15 minutes. 
just to get from base level up to the top and then come back down into campsite and then um, I might check out the restaurant here at the campsite as well because it's apparently quite cheap. I supposedly need a bigger fridge. Anyway, uh, that's the plan and hopefully it goes to plan. Fort Sagan. Like looking at it, I feel like I'm not mentally prepared for today's hike. <laughs> I mean, we technically have to hike up to the top of those. Oh god, okay. <laughs> We're on our way now. Um, should be fun. Are we going to go to the tourist information centre? Yeah. You reckon? Or should we just keep going? I'd love to get more detail than that. Okay. Cool. Alright, see ya. We searched out an information centre to get some more detailed maps. As we walked through the old town, we met some friendly faces and found a little hole in the wall junk shop. So, what happened, Tiggs? We walked past this like junk shop almost, and we love a good junk shop. And it had all these like cool goat bells and just like everything. <laughs> it was pretty cool. Um, and so we ended up buying a goat bell and a book about Meteora, <laughs> which had the shopkeeper in it. <laughs> so we thought, why not? So it was quite good. Now we're on our way. Up that bloody monstrosity of a cliff. It took all of five minutes for us to get lost as we weaved through the little houses and had been told to look out for a sign leading the way. Delaying already. Yeah. Where's the entrance though? Yeah. So far there's like slow ascending paths. Oh actually that. Oh look at the rocks. The view at every stage was mad. We couldn't get over how small we felt amongst these giants. But we were only a little way up and kept it. The swimming's begun. She's about to harvest the beehives. Finally, we'd made it to the top, and our first port of call was the Monastery of the Holy Trinity. Like always, we were starting with one of the hardest to get to due to the climb of about 140 steps to get there. The cheetah's way up. <laughs> quick, Oops. quick way down. <laughs> Not so hard to do. Pretty cool, it's quite new. We made it. <laughs> Holy Trinity has been an organised monastery since 1362. And the monastery's main cathedral was constructed in the 15th century. The cathedral was decorated with frescoes in 1741 by two monks. This monastery used to be the home of over 50 monks, but now only five monks live there. And as you exit the back of the monastery, we were met with some of the best years of the day. Take that path. It seems like a waste of time. <laughs> Does I like and energy? Rather just walk on the road. Yeah. Meteora became a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1988. Meteora, quite fittingly, means suspended in the air in Greek, and it is a rock formation of various cliffs, which are over 60 million years old. Like yeah. that lady. She's like then all the rocks come up. Hey guys, it's pretty cool. Um, are you gonna go inside that? Maybe. Maybe. Um, unfortunately it's too windy to fly the drone, which sucks, but 
bit of that, then not, you know, then lose it. I think that's going to be our last stop anyway, and then we're going to head back. I think so, yeah. Just right. got all our pennies together. <laughs> <laughs> Should have enough now to go inside Valum. Um, we're choosing not to go inside Great Meteora. Meteora? Meteora, yeah. Sure. Yeah, sure. <laughs> um, it's busy as frick. It's quite busy. There's quite a big walk up there. Plus, we've just emptied our pennies to pay for Valum. So. Yeah, we're hedging our bets here and we're going to Valum. Plus, Valum's quite a cool. It's like out on the peninsula point. Yeah. So you can actually see. It's like a 360. Pretty much all of them from there. Not saying you can't from the other ones, but it looks like a sick, so. The monastery of Valen is named for the monk who first built the tiny chapel in 1350. He built portions of the monastery, but when he died, the rock was abandoned again for 200 years. In 1517, two monk brothers reached the rock, and they started to build the monastery from scratch. It took them 22 years to transport all the materials, and then it only took 20 days to build the actual monastery. Today, Valen Monastery is occupied by seven monks and can be accessed by a narrow bridge that runs back to the main road. But back then, the ascent to the monastery was made by wooden ladders, each of which had about 25 runs. The ladders were hanging up from the rock with the help of pegs on the north side of the church, and a gap was created between them. The monks often had to jump from one ladder to another, risking their own life. Hey guys, so we're just heading down now. We've found the path leading down between the two monasteries on this side after just going to Valen, um, which was pretty cool. But we're descending now back down. We're not sure exactly where this path takes us, but I think it should meet up with the main road, which we can follow back round past the campsite again, which works pretty well. Um, and we're both looking forward to dinner tonight. We're going to eat at the restaurant on site. The motivational <laughs> idea in our head right now. Um, otherwise, it's been pretty awesome so far. On the way down, we thought we were ready to just go home and rest our tired leg. But then Dylan saw a cave. So in tune to the Wilderness Camper style, we decided to check it out. It was a huge cavern sitting in the rock some hundred metres under Valen. It was pretty dark but we scored a cool view before moving on and running into some wildlife. And finally, with the bells ringing, it was time to go home. So we got back a little while ago and we've just been chilling out but now the restaurant on site has opened hopefully and we're gonna go get some food <laughs> yeah so we have to make dinner <laughs> it's so nice cool cool let's rock and roll classic Good morning guys, um, so we're about to head off now. We're gonna get prepared to cross into Albania, I think, tomorrow. We got a not very nice wake up call at around 2 a.m. Van was rocking back and forth. Last night there was an earthquake. That was extremely weird. No one tells us what to do, so we just creep forward after we get our passports, and then the lady's like, you go. <laughs> and now we're in our back.
Hey guys, um, I hope you've been enjoying the videos over the last couple of weeks. Um, I think you'll get a little bit more regular with them. Yeah. Um, yeah, we haven't done this in a while, so we just want to say a huge thank you to everyone who's watched the video, but, um, especially our patrons. Yeah. Um, especially right now, because um, we've got a lot going on and they've been really supportive. Mm. Um, and if you want to know what I'm talking about, then head to our patron. There should be a link popping up somewhere else. Uh, yeah, famous. Um, yeah, that's basically it. Cool. Um, I mean, keep liking the videos and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, but yeah, otherwise, just stay true for what's next. Yeah. Cool. Bye. Yeah.